All right, so the final week of season two. Two duelists left. Um, in the end of season one, Bakur was the only duelist left, so we decided, well, we'll both use the Bakur deck. Daniel had the idea, let, let's see who builds the better one, and then I tried to go Destiny board, and Daniel had something that pierced damage with Dark Ruler Hades and Dark Necrofear and destroyed me, so that was the end of season one. Uh, season two, he still did a really good Bakur deck. Um, still gave me trouble against whoever the heck I used, I don't remember. But, now we each have, now there's two duelists left, so... It's five to four right now. I have five. Daniel has four. We are, it's neck and neck pretty much. So because of that, um, Daniel, go ahead and uh, make your decision. You will get to choose who you're going to use, giving me whoever's left over, and that will be what we take into next week's duel. I'm going to go with Loomis and Umbra. Awesome. Okay, so Loomis and Umbra, you have Duel Links, which is somewhat updated for their decks. And you have uh, a lot of good mass cards. Um, the good thing about the rare hunters is Merrick, Loomis Umbra, Arcana, Strings, like they do have some cards that like are shared. So you will have some cards that Merrick uses too. So that's going to be kind of cool. Uh, Merrick is like kind of like a Shizu Odeon in himself. So it's going to be kind of curious. I know I have access to Ra. Doesn't mean I'm going to use it, but we'll see. So very interesting. So yeah, there are a couple good cards Loomis and Umbra can use. Like the Mask of Restrict, the Mask of a Curse, man, Brutality. Okay, they have a lot of good spell and trap cards. So, and that's going to be very scary. Where Merrick, though. I'm scared of Gravekeepers. Gravekeepers could come back, and they might, but I don't know. I think I want to go a different route. I think Gravekeepers, I want to stick with the Shizu, and Merrick, I'm going to go. Maybe I'll use Lava Golem, you know? Like, there's some really good cards. Actually, that's not a bad yeah, idea, though. I know Lava Golem. That's terrifying. So. We'll see what happens. Um, very excited. Uh, yeah. So we'll deck build, and then next week we will duel for the final episode of Season 2. All right. Merrick Ishtar. So it's 3.16 in the morning right now. I just modified this slightly. I built most of it the other day, but I modified it slightly. Still three days till the duel. But basically, this is what I came up with. Now... Originally, I had Ra's Disciple in here. I had this actually at 45 cards. Oh, no, 50 cards. Sorry, it's at 46 right now. But that's a lot of cards. Also, Ra's Disciple isn't really necessary with Sphere Mode. The only reason the regular Ra's in here is because Sphere Mode and uh, Immortal Phoenix Mode kind of used the original. And I didn't want to use Merrick without using them. So, we're going with them. So Phoenix Mode pretty much comes back, um, well, brings back the Ra. The Ra is an easy one sacrifice using the Sphere, and the Sphere can use my opponent's side of the field for tributes. So all very good. Um, situational, of course, but we'll see. Do I want to let my opponent get three monsters to tribute? I don't know. We will see. Um, they're using Loomis and Umbra. Did not research on how that's going to work. I feel like it's going to be a very limited deck based on some monsters that are going to suck. So I might have an okay time if I get some of these uh, metal reflex times in defense mode. All right, anyways, so the three forms of Ra one Lava Golem, four now. I cited the other two just to we'll see what happens. Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. So in one of the video games, Merrick actually uses. Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End, and Envoy of the Beginning. So, kind of good. Um, he uses a lot of dark monsters. And I think I'm going to get rid of him because I just realized the Ra's Disciples were the light monsters besides the Magician of Faith. So, yeah, we're not going to make another... These are divine. They're not light, so that doesn't count. Um, we're not going to do another Arcana Era where I didn't have spellcasters and like using the spellcasters for the magicians. All right, so as awesome as they are, I guess we got to see them go. I got to add a card to my side deck now. Um, 
holding legs. And we'll go over why shortly. All right, so lava golem, tribe infecting virus, uh, very good. Remove a card from the hand uh, and remove a monster that's face up on the field. Pretty cool. Um, revival jam. I can pay life points to special summon in defense mode. In case I needed to fight, in case I'll take more damage than a thousand, it's worth bringing back. Three Mystic Tomatoes to special summon other dark monsters. A dark geroid. So this thing gain, uh, it like takes away 800 attack points from an opponent's monster. Pretty good. Nidoria, if it's destroyed, the monster that destroyed it's destroyed. Which is Black Forest, search a card. Holding legs. Okay. So if it's summoned, all spell and trap cards on the field get returned to the hand. And I can banish this in the graveyard to destroy one set spell or trap card my opponent controls. Pretty good. That's why I wanted to throw a second one back here. Uh, holding arms, as long as it's on the field, a monster cannot attack. And as long as that monster's on the field, this card's unaffected by... Um, it cannot be destroyed by battle or affected by cards. So, pretty good. It's weak, so unless I special summon it, it's going to be a turn in attack mode before I get into defense mode. So, situational. Saying in the search, two spirit reapers for defense. Magician of faith to get some of my good mad spell cards back. Change of Heart, Raigaki, Dark Hole, Pot of Greed, Nightmare Steel, Cage. Um, neither player can attack for two turns. So our Drivial Knight, my opponent can attack for three turns. Graceful Charity, Tribute to the Dune, remove a card from a hand, and remove a monster on the field. Uh, monster Reborn, Mystical Space Typhoon, Snatch Deal, The Mask of the Cursed, which is pretty cool during my standby phase. The monster that's equipped with this cannot attack, and the person that the monster is equipped to that owns the monster will lose 500 life points. And then Premature Burial. Um, notice there's no Harpies, Feather Dust, or Heavy Storm, or Giant Druid. I did not see him use any of them. I looked at every single video game. Or I missed them and I'm blind. Regardless, that is why I have Mystical Space Typhoon, a second holding legs, and Dust Tornado instead of Harpies, Feather Duster, Heavy Storm, and Giant Trunid, and Or. So, two Mirror Force, a Torrential Tribute, Dust Tornado, Magic Cylinder, Ring of Destruction, Rope of Life. I have to discard my entire hand. So when a monster is destroyed by battle first, sent to the graveyard, I can discard my entire hand to bring that monster back, and then special summon it. If I do, it gains 800 attack. If I have no hand, it's pretty good. Or if my hand's crap for the situation I'm in. Three metal reflex times, 3,000 defense token. Pretty decent. Um, two nightmare wheels, kind of like a shadow spell, but basically inflict 500 damage to my opponent. And the monster must be on the field to activate and resolve the effect. So as long as my opponent's... I can target opponent's monster, and it can't change right out of position to attack. So I got two of those, and I call the haunted. Obviously, just like, bring back a monster. So in the side deck, two other lava golems. Just in case I want to actually burn. Uh, Nightmare Steel Cage and Swords of Veal Knight will hurt, help with that. Uh, 3,000 defense token would help with that. Um, if I could burn enough, just bring a destruction it, and win. We'll see what happens. A legendary fiend. So it's a one tribute monster. It kinda sucks for fifteen hundred attack, but during each of my standby phases it gains seven hundred attack. So after one turn it's twenty two hundred. I don't think I'm gonna use it, but it might be worth it, because the only monsters I'm summoning that are gonna be strong are the raw. Lava golems to go into their side of the field. So I'm not really doing much attacking. This is more of a stall kind of burn. Unless I got raw in the field. I could do some stuff with Ra. So we'll see. Um, holding leads again for their spell and traps. Soul exchange. Um, if I feel like using more of Daniel's monsters against him for tribute, card destruction. If I feel that, hmm, maybe I should just start destroying hands because his hand might be worse than mine. We'll see. United we stand. If I do want to bring in an equipped card to start actually doing battle damage. Prideful Roar. During damage calculation, if your monster battles an opponent's monster with higher attack, pay the life point difference, but then my monster would gain 300 during the damage calculation. So in the end, I would win that battle, even though I lost the life points I would have lost anyways. Ultimate Offering, Extra Normal Summons, Divine Wrath. In fact, it's activated as card to card, negate, and destroy the monster. Honestly, not a great deck, but there is a lot of potential. And if I'm not attacking too much, a lot of the cards he is using will be wait, wasted. They'll be pointless. Wasted space. I'd say he has, he's going to have Mirror Force. He's going to have Magic Cylinder, most likely. I'm probably not going to attack much. 
And if I do, I'm going to get rid of those cards most likely. Well, hopefully. We'll see what happens. The biggest win strategy is stalling and burning. Obviously, I should bring in more monsters for that. Maybe I should have a second Nightmare, a second Swords for this strategy. Um, I mean, I have Nightmare Wheel to do some stalling. Metal Reflux, I'm in defense mode. I, th I think I'm good. And if it really does get out of hand, bam, bam, bam. And I could activate Torrential Tribute by sacrificing two of his monsters, summoning Lava Golem, and then Torrential, just to get rid of the field. So, I have options. We'll just see what happens. Um, Yeah, that's it. All right, here we go. This is round 10, and I called it Howling the Ca at the Chaos Moon because Lumus and Umbra reminds me of Wolf and Moon. So there you go, and this old deck is based on Chaos. So we start off with three of the Masked Beasts. Uh, one Masked Beast Des Guardias. Uh, I threw in Labyrinth Wall because I usually need a defender, so 3,000 defense for one sacrifice. Be a nice little treat. Uh, Vampire Lord. I do damage with him. I get to select Monster Spell Trap, random card from the from the deck to the graveyard. It hopefully get rid of some of his tricky traps and spells. Uh, great card of Gemini Elf. Love that card. Reflector Bounder. He attacks me. He takes the damage even though I lose the card. So he has to beat over 17 and then boom, he takes the damage. Uh, he banishes cards from the graveyard when he does damage. Uh, Blast Sphere. So I can get a... He attacks the face down, it goes into traps, destroys on the next turn. It's a lot of fun to mess with people with that one. Uh, here's the two cards I use, I'm going to use to get the ritual monster and the ritual spell for, uh, to my hand. And then I have one of the four faced and one of the Tiki Elder to summon the mass beast. Um, I have Cyber Jar, flip it, destroy all monsters on the field. And we hopefully be a nice little, you know. If he outnumbers me, clear the field. Uh, Maneater Bug. This guy had so many great monsters and just fun things to do that I'm hoping it works as well in my against Mark as it did in my test run. Uh, Regeki, uh, Potagree, Monster Reborn, Change of Heart. Uh, I added Black Pendant, so gives my monster 500 attack. Goes to the graveyard, does 500 damage. Love it. Always have to have a resource of Revealing Light. Uh, Delinquent Duo is a card I haven't actually played before, so pay 1,000 life points, discard a random card. Your opponent discards a random card, and if he has more cards in his hand, destroy it. another one. So if he has two cards in his hand, I get rid of both of them and hopefully take away a lot of his options. All right, Cursed of the Masked Beast to summon the Masked Beast. Uh, three of the Mask of the Accursed. Uh, equip it to a monster. It can't attack, and he takes damage for, or whoever I equip it to attack, takes 500 damage. So, it's kind of like self-binding circle, but with more damage to him. A lot of these cards do that kind of effect. Uh, when this uh, card is activated, it's literally used with Mass Beast Deus Gardas effect. It's the only reason, otherwise, you play it normally, it goes to the deck. You play him, you, and he dies, you can use it to steal a monster. Uh, Mask, uh, it basically equips to a spell card, so if he puts a field spell on the field, he gets 500, another 500 points of damage each turn. Uh, Mass of Restrict, neither card can tribute cards. It's kind of another last resort card. I don't know if I'll keep it for all the duels, but it's another, you know, last resort, hopefully. Uh, Mask of Weakness, target attacking monster, loses 700 attack. Uh, Blast with Chain, if this gets destroyed, it uh, target one card on the field, destroy, destroy the target. Of course, I have to have Mirror Force and Magic Cylinder since he's able to use them. Widespread Ruin is another card I haven't got to use in real life. So when an opponent monster declares an attack, destroy one attack position monster with the highest attack. So that'll be nice. Attacks with the weak one, I destroy the strong one. Uh, of course, Solemn Wishes has saved me so many times, so I'm going to keep it in the deck. He had, They had no extra cards this time, so... I have an extra Beast Manastas, an extra Blast Sphere. I also have Millennium Golem. Again, I have a couple of the non mass creatures, so that way I need a little, if I need a little power, boom, I have it. Uh, no Voice Raider, not one of my first holographic cards uh, earlier on, so I love this card. Uh, Slate Warriors, good effect. Millennium Shield, another 3,000 defense if I need it. Uh, Hain Hain, return cards from the field to the hand. If I want to mess with some of the big monsters. Uh, flip, grab a trap in my graveyard, add it to my hand. I don't think it'll be too useful right now because of how I have it set up, but if I need it, there we go. 
Snatch Steel, I have Change of Heart, so I hopefully don't have to use that. An extra Mask of Dispel. Heavy Storm, worst case scenario for the second or third duel. Mass Restrict, again, if I don't, I don't want to have to use it, but... During your opponent's battle phase, send one spell or trapper from the hand to the graveyard and the battle phase, then from, then face up monsters currently on the field, have their effects negated to the end of his turn. So if he has a lot of effect monsters, it's a good way to do it, but hopefully I won't need it. And another right spread ruin, because I like that effect. And uh, we will see how this goes. Hopefully I do just as well and uh, win this, so we will see. Bye. All right, welcome to the final episode of Season 2 Battle City. Uh, after the episode, I'll explain how we're going forward. But for now, let's get into it. Uh, how's Oh, man. And uh, let's uh, just reset that link really quick. <laughs> yeah. I was going to start the, the uh, recording that way. Yeah, right. Of course, of course. I mean, oh, and you're the, you're the leader now. So, um, confident about your deck this time around? I actually, uh, I went to Duel Links first like we usually do, because usually there's better options with Duel mm -hmm. Links. They had crap to use. Really? I, I was like, oh, they really don't have anything to use. And then I went to their, uh, anime and all that, and oh my goodness, they have so much to use. Oh, that's good. Um... I thought Merrick would have a couple more things that he does not have, so I was a little, uh... He has a lot of good things, don't get me wrong, but there's a couple things that most characters were using, and Merrick does not have access to. So I was like, oh, that kind of sucks. It does. But it's okay, it's okay. That's fair. I'll, uh, get a ritual to my hand and go. Sounds good to me. I am going to set a monster. This is going to be a very, very slow duel for me. Uh, set a card. And end my turn. Go ahead. Oh, man. Do me favors. Ooh, Reflect Bounder. Nope, nothing to activate yes, here. This I like Reflect Bounder. Hopefully this doesn't, <laughs> you know, screw me over, because I'm figuring it does. <laughs> no. no, it just can't be destroyed by battle. Correct. Yeah. I remember him. I remember uh, against my Bakura deck, he betrayed hmm. you, because I just kept <laughs> doing, using the ruler to, in the, uh, his little right-hand man to just boop you constantly. <laughs> So I'm just gonna cancel the summon. Can I cancel the summon? Oh, I can't cancel the summon? Oh, all right. I'll set a monster and I'll activate Swords of Revealing Light and end my turn. Oh, fair enough. Let me just uh, reread this card in my hand, but go ahead, continue your turn. One set card, okay, cool, cool. End my turn. I have three copies of one card in my hand. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> That's the worst card to have, but... Nothing to chain. We're good here. No other monsters. Okay, okay. That I'm going to keep in my hand. That's I'm going to just... I'm going to end my turn. I Nothing. <laughs> nothing I could do. Dang. Yeah, we're I got a very... Thousand, aren't we? All right, I'll let you go again. Sheesh. All right, one more turn for swords. That's not good. Yeah, this, uh... Oh, wow, I drew this one back to back. That's crazy. All right, well... No, nah, not yet. Uh, end my turn. I'll, I'll let my last turn for swords go, and then hopefully I draw something I could do. This is this is slow right now. There's a lot of back and forth. Nothing. Another set card. Uh, lovely. Yeah. Uh, all right, swords. Appreciate it. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna set a, a card and end my turn. Go for it. <laughs> this is crazy. Merrick's okay, just. I'm going to activate one of my favorite cards. Ah, uh, more life. I hate all <laughs> oh, your life point gaining. 
Each time. Oh, that's going to be something. And, uh. <laughs> and, uh. I really think attacking is my best bet, so. Um. Yeah, you never know, right? Oh, that's not a bad one. I am going to sacrifice your three monsters. Uh, there goes my main eater bug. To oh, summon oh, the oh, winged oh, dragon oh, of Ra. Spear oh, mode. Oh, I am screwed. Next, I'm going to activate the nightmare steel cage. For two turns, neither of us can uh, do battle phases. Unless you have something to destroy it, because it looks like you have a potential option. Oh, no one's going to attack? Okay, that's not the worst option. Alright, so the spear mode is safe. I end my turn. Ooh, if I could resolve this. I'm just going to be happy to resolve it. <laughs> if it dies the next turn, I, I mean, I can't really expect too much from it, but I would be happy to resolve it. <laughs> So when is it? Um, shift cards owner during the end phase of this turn. Okay. So I'll get it. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, A set card, eh? Mm-hmm. So at the end of my turn, you get it, and then you can summon... On that turn or the turn at uh, the end of your turn? I think as soon as I get it, I could summon it. Oof. From my hand or deck. Oof. What do you mean? You got a Solomon Wishes on your side of the field. You have 9,000 life points. You're good. You're good. Well, it's a couple 4,000. <laughs> Just in case. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that reveals my set monster. Forgot about that. All right. Does it come to my field? Oh, that's even worse. I don't like him either. <laughs> you had to read Nidoria? All right. Yeah. I'll take the winged dragon around back. <laughs> I hate that. You want to deal with Merrick? Well, you got him. I will now yeah. activate... Oh, I will now summon... I have a, I'm able to take care of everything except for that card. So far, I can handle everything you've got except for that one card. Well, I hope you can't handle this. Holding legs! What does that do? I've never even heard of it. If this card is summoned, or turned all set spell or trap cards Should on the field to the hand. the field to the hand, you can... You're going to target one spell trap, your opponent control is going to... Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Next, I activate Tribute to the Doomed. I will get rid of a card in my hand and get rid of a card on your side of the field. It's now, like you did that. Mm, this kind of stinks because I want, uh, I guess I'll get rid of the swords. Oh, it has to be a monster. Okay, so I guess it'll be the set monster. Oh! Oh my gosh! Cyberjar! Oh gosh, that would have been crazy! Oh no! Oh wow! Okay, okay. Next, I will activate the Wing Dragon Ara! Dang it. <laughs> I summoned it. Oh, I don't care what happens now. I summon the wing dragon Ara. Oh, that feels good. I'm going to set a card on the field. And as much as I wish I could attack you, I will have to end my turn. I forgot I had Nightmare Steel Cage anyway, so it wouldn't matter. Oh, you can just pay a thousand life points to continuously destroy my shit, can't you? Well, yeah, but let, let's be honest. Do I really want to do that? Should have held, yeah, like held on to holding legs. I was... I misread it. I was thinking all spell or trap cards in the field, and it ended up just being set cards, so... That's a my bad. 
there was definitely going to be some life points being paid and destroying you for everything you have. It says your turn. And I can't. Yeah, that's my fault. I had my turn. Um, no problem. I was just letting you know that I can't do anything. I gotcha. So, yeah, I just read holding legs correctly. I thought it was all speller traps. Ah! Oh, I would have just got rid of 5,000 life points, took my rod of 9,000, and just went, bam, one hit, done. Oof, I'm completely, how long do I have on swords? Do I think I you have two protect? more turns. I think it's only been one. Okay, well. Well, you, yeah, you got, you got some time. Because I don't know what I'm going to find, honestly. And I think Nightmare Steel Cage ends after my turn, so yep, yeah, here it goes. Nothing, so... That's not bad. I'm gonna set a card this face card down. One turn, uh, like three turns sooner. All good, all good. I will unfortunately end my turn. Sheesh! I can't really do too much. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm going to end my turn, which should get rid of swords, and that's all you know. Um, Got it. So yeah, I'm in deep trouble. Deep, deep trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm going to summon this guy, so I can oh, get my Oh, now that's I a card. Want. Oh, shoot, that's right, it's Loomis and Umbra. There are some pretty good cards you can use in this deck that could actually stop me. I'm actually a little worried now. It's only about the last beast, so I was determined to put them in this deck. So. Oh, of course, of course. I mean, it's a strong ritual, and here it comes, too. Shoot. I, yeah. 10,500 Makes sense, makes well, sense. I have one to keep, you know. I don't know if attacking is really my best option, but I gotta start clearing some stuff here. Oh yeah, please, feel it's free. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna get rid of you. I do I can't get rid of you and I don't wanna get rid of there. Your choice is fine. I don't care which one you attack. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> oh, come on. Holding legs isn't the worst. I just get to destroy one card. That's pretty good. I could do this, too. I oh, man, the options. The options. All right, I'm going to set... No, this deck has options, too, and I like it. I'm going to set a card. I'm going to... Ooh, this is tough. This is scary. I'm going to go to battle phase. Wing Dragon Ara, attack the masked beast. And... Yeah, yeah I'm so scared because it's 4,000 attack points. You should... Ah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, um... I don't want to do that just in case I kill myself because I don't know if that's also going to go through or not, so that's not going to happen. Oh, ah, okay. That's that was my biggest scare. <laughs> I've had that since like turn two or three. Oh, I'm sure you did. All right. Uh, it was one of the ones you Actually, <laughs> I end my turn. That's crazy. Ah, uh, and if you have a second one, I'm really screwed. Okay. Better what I attack you with. It's a bad idea. So <laughs> I think that flip monster is probably a bad effect too. But. We'll Oh, you could have attacked it. You never know. That was quick. Hmm. Hmm. That's not bad. I could do that. Um. Hmm. Okay. So I am going to. Oh man, this is this is a tough one. I love how we just have huge monsters on the field, and we're just staring at each other like, we'll move first. Oh, there is no you first. Wing Dragon Ara, attack the mass beast. Take two. Please do. What is it? If it's what I, if it is a second magic cylinder, oh gosh. Target one face-up card just controls equipped to the target if it gains 500 attack. When this card is destroyed by battle. Target one face-up card on the field and destroy that target. All right, well, do what you gotta. 
Oh! Well... <laughs> That is... Oh, I should have... Oh, well, you're in... You're, I only have one attack mode monster, so I guess that's fine. Ah, okay. I really... Uh, that sucks. All right, Winged Dragon Rot is what it is. I'm going to now go to main phase. I'm expecting Monster Reborn at this point. <laughs> so I don't really think he's going to stay going. I'm going to summon the Tribe Infecting Virus on my main phase, too. What is that? I get to activate it by discarding a card in my hand. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. Don't care, and ooh. Oh! Monster. That stinks. I'm about to destroy two of my own monsters for this. I do want this in the graveyard. I didn't really want New Dory in the graveyard, but that's fine. Um, yeah. That's fair. Holding arms. I'm going to get rid of all fiends. This way, Blast with Chain, or whatever it's called, won't really affect me. I don't think so. Alright. 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 Now I'm gonna act it only works if it's destroyed by... Activate yeah. Holding Legs in the Graveyard by removing from play. I'm gonna destroy this face down. I might as well activate it. It's still gonna get destroyed, but... Um, don't think it is. Don't think it is. Oh, is it only destroy face down? Yup. Oh. But you do realize we can't tribute anymore. That's okay. Yeah. Now yeah, let's say that's okay. Oh, not that card! No, 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 no! I love that card, but not against me. Okay. Ja. Okay. Shoot. And unfortunately, that's kind of all I can do. So. Okay, okay. But at least you constantly get booted now. Yeah, we're going to have to end this quick. I'm going to summon Spare Reaper. I'm going to flip Spare Reaper. I'm going to then flip Magician of Faith. I'm going to take back my Swords Revealing Light. I'm going to activate Swords Revealing Light. Next, I'm going to go to battle phase. <laughs> we'll go to battle phase. Attack. 1,600 can attack, so... 300 and discard a card from your hand. Nice. 300 and discard a card from your hand. That's not nice. Ooh, that's a good one. And now, 300. All right. For every turn, I'll take you down 900. You recover 500 of that. I will definitely expire before you, so let's hope I draw a good card. <laughs> oh, this sucks. And no! Well, at least the Mask of a Curse is gone. No! True. But at least you know it's a little bit of hope here. I summon the Mystic Tomato! <laughs> Go, my tomato! Attack into Daniel's life points! And I end my turn. Eh, fair enough. We're at a 20 minute duel. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say this one. This is what this deck is for, though. If you can't tell, it's just to constantly make you boop yourself and to just turn after turn make you. Wish I wouldn't have got the dispel card discarded last turn because then I could equip it to your Swords of Revealing Light and you get five hundred. Which I was kind of hoping that's why I put it <laughs> in the deck, but right. you know, stuff happens. Hmm. I need to throw this in my graveyard, and I don't have a card to do it. Oh, boy. All right. I'm just going to attack with my tomato again. I'm just going to activate my trap card. Which isn't anything big, but well, 700 life points. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, I end my turn. Now, technically, because I got 500, I only lost. <laughs> oh, I'm not... I mean... 6,500 total tie. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my gosh. All right, Swords is gone. If I get one level four or low monster, I can turn this around. Let's hope that doesn't happen. All right. You know, as long as I can keep this monster on the field. Battle phase. Mystic Tomato, attack. Go. And my turn. Time to liven up that spirit, Daniel. What do you got for me? The best cards, but it, it's keeping me alive-ish. This isn't going to help me. 
How are we gonna draw this card? That's why I love Solemn Wishes, because we all know that I've won more than one duel because of Solemn Wishes alone. <laughs> Attack! Alright, Tomato. The good news is we're, we're, we're chipping away. The bad news is this is gonna take forever. Oh gosh, no, come on! Wait, your own life, please. I end my turn. Gosh, dang it! Now we're that much further. Mm, two turns, he's only lost 400. Oh my gosh! Not again! Oh, this is over. How the heck is Loomis and Umber gonna be better? Use own stuff against you. Loomis and Umber are really... Like I said, that's why I called it Howling at the Chaos Moon, because it's what they're... And this whole thing is just chaos. Well, I can't sacrifice life points, so Dark Hole. Yeah, fair enough. End my turn. This sucks! Yeah, they can. That's understandable. Oh, now you show up and you're useless. <laughs> Actually, no, you might still be useful to me at some point. Interesting. I have to, wow. Okay. I don't really want to do that. That's kind of a waste, but at the same time. Oh, boy. Uh, your turn. Thanks. Ooh, your turn. Ooh. I summon the Revival Jam. I'm not sure what he does. I have to pay a thousand life points to bring him back in defense mode during my standby phase. Not gonna happen. I don't have life Fair points. Enough. I don't have life points for that. Attack my opponent directly. Your turn. <laughs> I'm back down to 9,100. Oh! I activate this card, so it goes back in my deck. And end my turn. Alright. Witch of the Black Forest. Battle phase. Revival jam. Go! Now you're going to boot me to death. I have a feeling you're just... I end my turn. Alright, you're at 7,500 now. Look at it. You're back in like a normal life point range. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Another mirror force, probably. Oh, that's a good card. If only I had a reason to use it. Battle phase! Go! Revival jam! You were correct. Gosh damn it, I was really hoping it wasn't. Alright, well, which is that force will allow me to summon him, uh, get a monster from my deck to my hand, so I'll get my tomato and end my turn. Not enough option. I'll have to discard a card from my hand. Oh, man. The Winged Dragon Ara! One, two, three, four, four. Yeah, you got a lot of cards in your hand. Oh, I have, set, I have eight. Okay, uh, Winged Dragon, yeah. Ra, and... Oh, man, that's... Honestly, at this rate, Mirror Force and Winged Dragon, Ra. Let's go. Gosh, back at 8,000. Oh! I don't like that you can do something. Just leave it alone. Yeah, right? Just leave it it's all good, it's all good. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I like Black Cunning because you destroy my monster and you still get the damage. Yeah, that does suck, doesn't it? That's, oh, no, 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 ah, oh, shoot, okay. When is destroyed um, by battle? Nope, just from field to graveyard. Oh, that's horrible. I'm not going to attack. So that prevents me from doing that. Oh, oh, but I do like this. Oh, I do like this indeed. I'm gonna activate Snatch Steel. Oh, I'm come on. gonna take this nice little boosted monster you got set up for me. Bring him over here. I'm next gonna summon my Mystic Tomato. I am next going to attack you with both of these cards directly. Now, now I got some battle power. Yeah, that's fair. All right, you're at 49. Just an end turn, okay. Honestly, I think the uh, Mask of Restrict is actually hurting me at this point. <laughs> and it wouldn't matter because I don't have anything on the field to use. So... Do I go for the win right here, or do I... Let's see, 22, that's 36, 45,000. Ah, that's close. Battle phase! Attack! Okay, you have nothing to re... Okay. All right! And my turn. Look at this. We're close. We are close. Oh, that's right. You're getting a thousand from Snatch Steel plus five hundred. Oh my gosh, you're getting fifteen hundred back every turn. That's crazy. <laughs> I can't. You uh, tribute. 
Am I gonna win the first duel? Really? <gasps> oh, oh, that's cl that's not bad, honestly. That's right. Um, we're just gonna go to battle phase and. You got something? It didn't wouldn't do what I wanted to do. How do you like it now? Dang it, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how that feels. I still took the dang damage. Dang it. <laughs> uh, well. Alright, I'll take that card back. <laughs> I'll take your monster well, back on my field. <laughs> that was literally all I could do, and nope. You do realize if you have nothing. Like I said, that's game. Reflect powder, destroy your master! <laughs> yeah, dude, that was game. Oh, that man. Was game. That, that was, was crazy. That was a lot of going back and forth. Yeah. And I find it a lot of fun. I see. Well, let's see how much fun you have in the second duel. Yeah. Why, oh. do, you, why do I have a feeling that's a bad... Bring sound, because you just got a great hand. Bringing back the Sonic Bird, bringing the rituals out. All right, let's do it. Um, I don't know about a great hand. It's not a bad hand, though. I'm seeing a couple cards I didn't see before. Yeah, my hand is not as good as it was last time, so... Mystical Space Typhoon. Let's destroy that face down. Uh... Okay, that's helpful-ish. Um, this is ridiculous. Oh, man, I just realized how bad this hand is. Oh no, I'm gonna set a card and end my turn. Oh my gosh! <sighs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <clears throat> yeah, you're good. This isn't good. Yeah, but I don't like that face down. Don't worry about it. You know what? Give me a, the chance to activate it, and you'll you'll see it's 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 a face down. We're just gonna. Mm, I gotta take it. This sucks. This sucks. Okay. There you go. Oh, thanks. Oh, okay. Well, that's not bad. Oh, but do I wanna? <sighs> okay. I'm going to special summon by sacrificing Sonic Bird and send you the thousand hands. Oh, not again. Lava Golem! Uh, and then you're gonna steal it back. What you do? No, I wouldn't do that. I'd rather you take the damage. You would. I'm going to act. Uh, no, I just realized I gave. I end my turn. Fudge. So. During your standby phase, you'll take a thousand life point damage. So that's helpful. <clears throat> yeah. But I just realized what you can do, so. You mean this? Oh, yes, I do. That's why I had to second guess that turn. Oh, well. Yeah, thank you, because now I don't have to sacrifice anything out of my hand, either. Ha-ha! Nightmare Wheel! So now we can't do squat. I still can't get over it, but at least you won't be hurting me. And then you bring out Reflect Bounder. Oh, gosh. <laughs> now that I can't do anything about. Gosh damn it. Until you steal it. Or... Daniel, wh what Actually, is... it won't, still won't beat over my mass beast, so... <laughs> yeah, there's nothing I can do. Stealing it wouldn't really help me. And if you realize in this deck, anything I'm sacrificing is sacrificing your monsters. <laughs> uh, I'm going to activate... Try. Yeah. I love how my deck is literally using your stuff against you 
to, you know, boop you, and you're just literally sacrificing my monsters, boop me. <laughs> yeah, right? And um, I'm just using all of your cards against you, you're using all of my monsters against me. It's kind of funny. It is, it is. I but this time it looks like you might come out on top. Um... Face down, uh, the hell is it asking for? But to be fair, last duel you just barely came out on top because you had a better late game than I. That's had, true. Uh, better, I had a better beginning and middle, and you had a better end. Oh, I'm. I thought it destroyed a card. I just realized what it does. It doesn't destroy the card. It cannot be activated until the end of the next turn. Oh, I could have oh. wait. Yeah, I could have waited to use that effect. Okay, I'm not thinking. I thought it destroyed it too. So hmm. you're still your turn or whatever you're doing. So my bad. Go ahead. You know, because I read it on mine. I'm like, oh, hey. <laughs> Just gonna summon. Oh, that's a good one. Oh well, yeah, you're gonna get rid of it. No, 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 no. I'm just going to activate a second Nightmare Wheel. <laughs> Fair enough. So you'll lose 1,000 every turn now. Just like if you had Lava Golem. But now you have to get rid of both of them to stop your damage. Oh, that's cool. Well, it needs one card and I can take care of it. All right. I'm going to set a card. And I... what my deck is supposed to be doing. Stop using it against me. <laughs> I'm going to end my turn. <laughs> There's nothing else I can do. Well, that doesn't help me at the moment. Hey, if it doesn't help you, it helps me, so I'm all for it. Well, that I'm going to set a monster. Oh, wait, let me activate these first. No, don't activate those. Of course I'm going to activate them. The only way I'm going to win is if I do... It does just by this alone. Yeah, I know. I'm going to set a monster and then my turn. <laughs> For the first two turns, that was my only defense was Nightmare Wheel. I had no monsters. Oh, that's a good one. Kind of. Not really. Yes and no. Do I re No. I'm probably going to get hurt for this, but... As much as I would love to do this, and probably it's just not worth losing the advantage. Uh, yes, so I'm going to take another tomato from my deck and special summon that right here. Yeah. All right. Wouldn't dra dragon a rod, would you? No, I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be something, right? Sacrifice your monsters, yeah. save you the damage. Yeah, I take it at this point. I would love to finish you with the wing dragon a rod. So let's see what pot of greed gives me. No, not the wing dragon a rod. I'll tell you that. I will set a monster. And I will put this guy in front. I'll take Lava Golem if you get rid of one of these guys. Yeah. That'd be nice. I had my turn. Well, Lava Golem is going to do the same amount of damage even if I get rid of... If I get rid of two, it'd be... Again, great trap cards, but none that are going to... Ooh. Luckily... Oh, wait. Technically, you're ahead, but you lose more per turn, so... Yeah. Again, it's the only thing I can do at this point. If you drew another one next turn, it would just be whoever... <laughs> That's crazy. All right. No, because you, you've gotten the lead now, and it's just, I got nothing. No Heavy Storm? Harpy's Feather Duster? No, I'm not even get. I've got a couple decent traps on the field, but they're not doing me any good. They didn't actually, weren't able to use Harpy's Feather Duster. Yeah, same here. <laughs> so... Yeah, they. I don't have Heavy Storm, Harpy's Feather Duster, or Giant True Nade. I'm just like, really? Yeah, oh, that's a good one if you have the ritual. You could just sacrifice the monster. Oh, that would be good. Because I can't. Ooh, if I get one card, I could really save my ass, but I don't think I'm going to get that, so. You need to draw another Mass Beast or send you. You would like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'll grab a pot of greed. Fair enough. All right. I need the heart of the cards at this point, but I don't think I'm going to get it. I'm going to grab... I'm glad that this deck has just caused complete chaos like it was supposed to. 
I, there's not much I could really but do. The two decks are pretty evenly matched for the most part. It's only what it took is one or two cards different on either side, and this would go completely different. Oh, yeah. Sheesh. I like that. It's, it's close. These duels are taking so freaking long. Right. All right. Two more turns, and it's over for you. You're losing 1,000 here. You're all 1,500. I'll have you know I don't have a third Nightmare Wheel for you, so at least be lucky there. I'm going to activate Pot of Greed. I have three of the freaking Mask of a Curse, and I've seen one last turn and one this one. Wow, the Pot of Greed drew these two cards exactly. That's crazy. I'm going to activate Graceful Charity. Mm. And I got to discard two. Um, Not like you don't have plenty to choose from. I have a freaking deck of a hand, and I have a single card. <laughs> I haven't been doing anything. Uh, Rope of Life and New... I honestly hope I get one of my two boss monster cards, and then I can save myself. Dark Geroid. All right. Don't want to do this and lose my advantage, so I am going to set a card... And end my turn. This is your last turn. No. You have one more turn after this if you can't do anything. Well, I have Pot of Greed, so... Hey, that's, that's a good card to draw. Not too bad. Okay. We'll just determine everything. Oh, it's so close. I want to gain three. I do, I do, I do. But I'm not getting four. Uh... Oh, tribute. Vampire Lord. Interesting. Oh, no. So uh, what kind of card do you not want to lose, good sir? <laughs> hmm. This is going to be, oh, no, because I'm going to have to do this. <sighs> Let, let it go through. This card looks battle damage. Okay, so cancel his attack. Probably should attack the the weaker dude, but otherwise. Now you can go, oh, dang it. The good news is you could just special summon it. The bad news is, yeah, oh, you would have won right there. Oh, gosh. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> but at least I got rid of one of your wheels. It's true. It's true. It's, even wor it's not even worth attacking you. It is not even worth attacking you. That is crazy. Uh, I could do this, but like I said, with Nightmare Wheel, I don't want to. I could do this, same thing. I'm going to set a card. And uh, I got to, just in case, I probably should. I'm going to end, uh, I'm gonna end my turn. I'm going to end my turn. This, Thank you. And no longer your last turn. So Vampire Lord's going to come back. I have to, as much as I don't want to, I have to activate this card. Torrential Tribute. Destroy all monsters on the field. Uh, I didn't want to, but... Son of a fudge. I should have waited. I was being too safe. I was being too safe. I was being too safe. No, 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 no. What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Can you summon it, though? You can summon it. Yep. I would have got rid of uh, the other wheel with my uh, card I just threw in the graveyard. Right. Crazy, crazy. Okay. Um, so if you would have attacked it, it would have been pretty troublesome for you anyway. So, Daniel, what do you think this card is? Probably Magic Cylinder. Oh, that would be even better. No, it's Mirror Force. Yeah, fair enough. All right. <laughs> this is crazy. Are you Wait, I just... Oh, wait. No, okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to set a card. 
I'm gonna activate Monster Reborn. Oh, I do not. I do not want to attack you. I'm just gonna be dead serious. I do not want to attack you. I'm just gonna summon your Vampire Lord on my side of the field <laughs> just for protection and ending my turn. <laughs> Because I know if I attack, I don't. I don't win it. You have mirror force and or magic soul in your face. Now I get this card. Okay. Shoot. Okay, that's helpful. Three or four turns ago would have been great. I'm gonna summon holding legs. Oh, I went through! Nah, uh, that's game. Fuck. That was... You're right. I had both Mirror Force and Magic Cylinder. Oh my gosh, that was too <laughs> close. Yeah, that was so good. That was Every time. so close. The last duel, I did not draw shit for the longest time. Ugh. Dual Nexus, he sucks. <laughs> so bad on shuffling the deck. Oh my goodness. That was too was close. So freaking close. Yeah. Both times! Yeah, both times, literally a single good card could have changed the outcome. That is crazy. And dude, like half the time, I didn't even get my good cards. I got the uh, other Ugh. mass beast, the S Guardian. That's Guardian, no, yeah. On that Guardian. last hand. That last draw, mm -hmm. that's what I got it to, that's what I got in the last one. Like, I could have used that three or four turns ago when I had the four-headed <laughs> creature on the field. Right, right. I could have suddenly gotten rid of your wheel and all that. But no, I kept getting the same cards over and over. Like, when the draws counted, you know, when you, the chips were down, it's just like, yeah, no, I'm going to give you shit that you've already seen that you don't need. I'm going to give you every <sighs> copy of the cursed mass beast in like the first or second hand, <laughs> the first duel, I had three of those. Really? One. Oh my gosh, that does suck. If I use master restrict because of mass beast, uh, the two mass beast cards, they both count as tributing cards. Oh. So it both of those along with my labyrinth wall of vampire lord. I thought it was a special so song. Oh, wow. It's my best monsters. As well as, even though it's a special summon, it still tributed the cards. Oh, okay. So it stopped me just as bad as it stopped you. Especially that first duel. I could have done some more stuff if I didn't have the Master Restrict on the field, but it was the only thing saving me at that point. No, so, to be honest, that first duel, I didn't, you just activated because you didn't want it destroyed, but... The, honestly, the only thing I had to sacrifice oh, no, was Lava Golem. I was keeping you from summoning your big monsters, too. And All the only big monsters I had is the Wing Dragon, the Rock. I got booped to death because I couldn't get anything on the field or keep it there. The only big monster. I didn't really have anything to bring stuff from the field except for Call of the Haunted. And even then, and again, Monster Reborn, but I didn't see Monster Reborn. I actually don't have Call of the Haunted in this deck, so I, haven't need, I didn't need it. So I kept having oh, some, but okay. even then, it was just, I kept getting the same stuff that I couldn't use. So I'm like, come on, <laughs> these draws were horrible. And again, they caused chaos, which was their whole point, but oh, their shuffling is horrible. Yeah, it was, it was neck and neck, honestly, uh, it and that's the only reason I have two holding legs in the deck. They're weak. It's only eight hundred attack, I think. But because yeah, I can't, I can't effect, use. That's great. I can't use heavy storm. I can't use harpy's feather duster, and I can't use giant tunade. I have a dust tornado, a mystical space typhoon, and two holding legs. And holding legs only targets heavy face storm downs. In the second duel, didn't see it either. Yeah, it was crazy. But I, I, the only big monsters I have are the wing dragon Ara, the wing dragon Ara spear mode, and a lava golem. I have nothing to sacrifice for myself. I sacrifice your monsters for my big monsters. So your yeah. your master restrict, to be 100% honest with you, saved you from me summoning Lava Golem. But honestly, other than that, it didn't really save Even you. Even at the uh, wheels that act like my mask of a cursed, you wouldn't have won that second duel. 
at all. No. He got two of those stupid wheels right out the gate. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, well, again, I had Heavy Storm in there, but... The, the first know, wheel was my only defense. So when you summoned... When you got rid of two monsters for one, I was like, okay, he won't be getting through. But that's all I had. And then I drew a second one, and that's all I had again. So I was like, oh, gosh dang, if he gets over two of these monsters, it doesn't matter because I have nothing else. So I was lucky. Yeah, like if I would have got, again, if I would have got the uh, um, uh, Deus Guardius Mass Beast, uh, when I had the two monsters, you know, taking away my life points and the four face, I could have sacrificed one of those monsters and the four face to summon him on the field, and you would have just been in trouble. Right. When uh, Deus uh, dies, um, that's when the mask of uh, remnants comes in. Because you play it, it gets shuffled back into the deck, but when he dies, you equip it to um, one of your opponent's monsters, and you take control of that monster. Oh, that's the one. That, oh, yeah, that's a good one. So I was hoping to play that, but again, I could not get any of this... You know when I needed it. So yeah, if it, it was it was crazy. I'm not even gonna lie. Like that was that was crazy. But it was close. It was a good way to finish it off. These we didn't have long duels like this for like three weeks now. Yeah. So that's why I was excited about this deck go because when I tested it, that's what it was. It was just constant stalling or chaos. So it was it was pretty fun. Yeah. Um, what the next I wheel is, yeah, is huge. So yeah, the next wheel. So because so season three is waking the dragons, which is actually not canon, but well, not manga, but it is Yu-Gi-Oh canon, I guess. But anyways, yeah. so waking the dragons. Then it goes to like another Kaiba like sanctioned tournament, and then it goes to like the the past, and then that's that's the end of Duel Masters. The only thing is, there is no real new characters besides Mokuba that you could really throw in. I was looking at Bandit... Uh, not Bandit Keith. I was looking at Tristan, Duke, Devil, and Taya. I was like, meh. And then I I did throw in Bones. I did throw in... um I see that. Uh, Mako and the Paradox Brothers. I threw Weevil. Well, yeah, I threw Weevil and Rex back in. But Mako Tsunami, the Paradox Brothers, which are the Gate Guardian guys, and Esperoba, yeah. I threw in along with Bones. And then I just brought, every, and then Mokuba's new as well, and then everyone else I just threw back in. I wonder how many uh, we're going to get um, duplicates again. So here's the thing. The, last, the second season, I got three duplicates, so watch, I just get the same ones over again. Oh, it like is. Weevil this time, I'm just going to laugh. It is definitely possible. I feel like Weevil's still like the weakest deck, but we'll see. We'll see. I, if I get it again, I'm going to be a little... A little upset, but honestly, I, I'm not going to reroll. I I will take it and just try to improve on it. But I'm off the wheel as quick as possible. <laughs> exactly. Um, oh. This is a. It's 19 characters. I have a feeling we haven't rolled a mirror yet. Like actually rolled one. That <laughs> for whatever reason, I feel like we're going to roll a mirror early on. I'm gonna be like, really? You have 19 choices and we rolled the same character. Oh, no, you know what's going to be hilarious. What? We, uh, mirror roll weevil. <laughs> that, would uh, that would be. I would be okay with that just because I, we would have an equal opportunity. I was going to say, that would be hilarious. Just you, you go and get it and you're salty, and then it's like, hey, guess what? So do I. Right, yeah. Oh, man. I hope there's an update uh, to Duel Link soon to where I could use the insectors that. <sighs> but until then, nah. All right. Well, that's the episode. Uh, we're ending. So this will be season three, but also the final season of Duel Masters. So also, it's six to four is the score, I believe. Yes. So right now it's six to four. But I was hoping to end it with five to five. Yeah, right? yeah. And it was it was uh, close. Every time I get a great deck, you always have that counter that just puts you over the edge. Sometimes I'm just too good. Dueling Nexus just wants to give me the cards I need, and other times it gives me, and other times it gives me three. <laughs> yeah, no, and then other times it gives me three Dark Magicians, and I have nothing I can do. So, <laughs> you never know. I think that was the Dark Magicians bias, just them specifically. <laughs> yeah, just them specifically. Otherwise, well, dueling Nexus. On the inside, that's what I go for that one. So the goal is to not roll Arcana. Got it. If I roll Arcana, I re-roll for Weevil. Deal. <laughs> <laughs>
Anything you have to say? Keep dueling on. Hopefully the cards shuffle for you better. <laughs> truly, truly inspiring words. Daniel, have a good one. I'll see you next time. Everyone else, you. thank you for checking it out. I'll continue the support. And until next time, have a good one.